Hello there, Matlitz, for another episode of our factoring. Okay, so, uh, before anything else, uh, gusto ko lang mangingi ng pasensya dun sa mga nagbabark na aso sa labas, sa mga may ingi na sasakyan sa labas, kasi uh, I haven't bought a noise cancellation headset or microphone for our uh, video content. Okay, and I'm, I'm recording in the middle of the night kung saan madaming mga distractions ng mga asong tumatawal, etc. Okay, so bago ang lahat, flex ko lang ulit ang ating mga official social media accounts. You can follow me on Instagram at Aerial04, on TikTok, Maths and Logics, and on my official Facebook account at Larry Madalang Del Rosario. Okay, if you have questions, queries, suggestions, may hindi mga gusto kayong mga isend the pictures ng inyong mga lesson na hindi nyo maintindihan, na hindi nyo mapupost dito sa ating YouTube channel at mahirap pa kayong i-comment, you can uh, reach me out on my official Facebook account. You can send me your personal request to reach me. Okay, so sabi ko nga sa inyo, this primarily the last topic on factoring. Okay. So at the end of the lesson, the student will be able to factor polynomial in the form of general trinomials. Okay, again general trinomial. So, our lesson for today is all about factoring. Particularly, it is all about the general trinomials or factoring general trinomials. Part 1. Why part 1? Kasi yung general trinomial natin is divided into two types. So, gina ako dalawang types para uh, mas madali ninyong maintindihan yung lesson. So, magsisimula muna tayo dun sa part 1 which is lighter than part 2. Okay, mas madali siya ng konti to para sa part 2. Okay, before we're going to start with our lesson, let us first have a short recap dun sa naging lesson ninyo regarding FOIL method. Okay, kasi in special products, we are multiplying um, polynomial. In factoring, we are factoring polynomial. Paano yun? Uh, ito yung kabalik tara ng special product. Kung nung nasa grade 7 kayo, you have learned the way of multiplying polynomials using FOIL method, okay? This time, ibabalik natin siya dun sa original form. Na nabanggit ko na din naman na sa inyo dun sa mga previous lesson natin regarding factoring. So, sabi ko nga, let's have a short recap on your previous lesson. So, yung gagamitin natin, i-multiply lang natin yung dalawang polynomial, okay? We have the quantity x plus 3 and x plus 2 using FOIL method. Okay? In FOIL method, F starts, stands for first terms, O for outer terms, I for inner terms, and L for last terms. Okay, para hindi kayo mahirap, let us identify uh, what are the first, outer, inner, and last terms. Okay, in first term, pointer natin. Yan. Yung first term natin, simply yung dalawang unang term ng dalawang polynomial. So, we have X. And x. So, we simply have x times x, which is x squared. Yung outer terms natin ay yung dalawang nasa labas na polynomial. So, ito yun, x and 2. So, we have x times 2 or 2 times x. We have positive 2x. Yung inner terms natin ay yung dalawang nasa loob, inner term. So, ito yun, 3 and x, 3 times x, we have simply positive 3x. And our last terms are the two last terms of the two polynomials. So, we have yung, sa unang polynomial ay 3, sa pangalaw ay 2. So, we have, we simply have 3 times 2, which is equal to positive 6. So, as you notice, kahit positive siya, I'm already indicating yung plus sign as a sign of positive para kapag nire-write natin yung ating final answer, hindi tayo mahirapan. Okay. So, our answer will be x squared, lagay lang natin doon, plus 2x, plus 3x, plus 6. But as you notice, we, we still have uh, terms having the same variable with the same degree. Ano yun? Yung x squared, wala naman na siyang kasama dito na x squared. So, we leave it that way. Yung 6, wala naman siyang kasama dito o kahaling tula dito na number lang yung kasama. So, we have to leave it that way. Papansin nyo, si 2x and 3x, they have both x and yung x nila is raised into 1. So, we can simply add 2 and 3 
giving us the final answer of x squared plus 5x plus 6. Always remember, we need to simplify our answer. Okay? In order to arrive with the same answer. Okay? Yun yung reason kung bakit pinapasimplify namin mga teachers. Okay? Para lahat ng magiging sagot ninyo uniform magkaka muka. Okay? So we have to express our answer always in same class form. Okay, so factoring a general trinomial. So ano nga ba yung factoring a general trinomial? So we talk about factoring general trinomials. So factoring trinomials means finding two binomials that when multiplied together produce the given trinomial. Paano yun? So sabi ko nga sa iyo, kabaligtaran ng ginagawa natin kanina dun sa coil method. Kahanap naman tayo ngayon ng dalawang binomial na kapag pinag-multiply natin, will arrive with the general trinomial. Okay? Para lang din siyang perfect square trinomial. Kaya lang, hindi perfect square yung last terms natin. So, eto. Para sa maintindihan ninyo. So, sa previous lesson natin, hindi nyo pa napapanood yung ating factoring perfect square trinomial, I will put the link on the description box para mapanood din ninyo or uh, pwede nyo rin i-visit yung ating YouTube channel. Okay? So, in this case, as you notice, 12 is not perfect square. So, that means we can call this a general trinomial. Hindi siya perfect square trinomial. So, what do we do in factoring this? Okay, again, we will factor trinomials such as x squared plus 7x plus 12. We'll go back to binomials. And, take note, dito sa gagawin natin na to, if the x squared term has no coefficient other than 1, applicable to kung yung x squared term natin or yung leading term natin na x squared, wala siyang coefficient other than 1. Or, x squared lang siya. Hindi siya 3x squared, 2x squared, negative 2x squared, etc. So, dapat x squared lang siya. Okay, in that case, pwede natin gamitin or applicable yung gagawin natin step sa pagpapaktor. Okay, let's proceed with our example. So, let's factor x squared plus 7x plus 12. So, we have steps in solving para mas madali ninyong maintindihan. Yung first step, we have to list all the pair of numbers that multiply to equal the constant which is 12. So, sabi dito, ililist natin lahat ng pairs ng numbers na kapag pinagmultiply natin, ang sagot niya ay 12. Okay, again, iisip tayo ng dalawang numbers na kapag pinagmultiply natin, ang sagot niya ay 12. So, ano-ano yun? So, we have 1 times 12 is 12. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 4 is also 12. So, nalista na natin. After listing all, we are now proceed with the step 2. So, in step 2, we will simply choose the pair that adds up to the middle coefficient. Ang middle coefficient natin ay 7. Ah, nasa gitna, kaya siya tinawag na middle. And coefficient, it, it, uh, it talks about the number itself. Okay, hahanap naman tayo ngayon dun sa mga nalista nating pairs ng number na kapag pinag-add natin, ang sagot ay 7. So, yung una natin ay 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. So, ipag in natin yung 1 and 12, we'll have 13. Yung 2 and 6, we'll have 8. Yung 3 and 4, we'll have 7. So, which among these pairs ang pag pinag-add ay 7? So, we have 3 and 4. So, that will be the basis na dun sa ating step. Three. So, in step 3 natin, we are going to fill those numbers into the blanks in the binomial. So, yung una natin gagawin, uh, meron na tayong 3 and 4. Ang una natin gagawin, maglalagay na tayo nito. So, x plus blank, x plus blank, quantity parehas. Okay, so, ito yung una yung gagawin. Then, afterwards, if we fill lang natin, ilalagay lang natin si 3, and ilalagay lang natin si 4. That gives us the final answer of, x plus 3, quantity x plus 3, times the quantity x plus 4. So, ito yung final answer natin. Okay. Next. So, dito kung papansin ninyo, positive yung given. So, yung another example naman natin will have negative para mas madali ninyong maintindihan and wala na kayong queries regarding this video. Let us factor x squared plus 2x minus 24. So, negative 24 na siya yung given natin dito. So, first one, we have to list all the pair of numbers that multiply to equal to the constant, which is negative 24. Take note, to get negative 24, one number must be positive and the other is negative. Okay, so alam naman natin na ang rule ng ating uh, 
multiplication of of numbers, integers, or polynomials, same sa uh, uh, like sign positive and like sign negative. O since it is negative 24, unlike signs yung gagamitin natin. Ibig sabihin, yung dalawa, ililista natin yung dala, dalawang numbers, yung isa dapat positive, yung isa dapat negative. Hindi siya pwedeng both negative. Hindi, hindi rin siya pwedeng both positive. Okay. So then, we have negative 1 times 24 is negative 24. 1 times negative 24 is negative 24. Then, we also have negative 2, 12 or 2, negative 12. We also have negative 3, 8 or 3, negative 8. Okay? And we also have negative 24 equals negative 4, 6 or 4, negative 6. Okay? After listing down, oh, na-list na, na natin ngayon. Yung step 2 natin, pipili tayo ngayon ng number dun sa nalista natin na pair na kapag pinag-add natin, ang sagot ay 2, which is the middle term na 2. So, andin dito yon Pipili tayo ngayon sa mga pairs na to. Okay. Negative 1 plus 24 is negative 23. 1, ay sorry, negative 1 plus 24 is 23. 1 plus negative 24 is negative 23. So, that technically, hindi na ito kasama. Negative 2 plus 12 is 10. 2 plus negative 12 is negative 10. So, hindi rin ito kasama. Negative 3 plus 8 is 5. 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. So, hindi na rin ito kasama. So, this one. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. Tama ba? And 4 plus negative 6 is is negative 2. So, alin doon yung nagbigay ng positive 2? We have negative 4 and 6. That will give us to sa ating uh, step 3, which is writing the binomial factors. So, since we have negative 4 and 6, ilalagay lang ulit natin yung x quantity of x plus blank times 1 to x plus blank, and then ilalagay lang natin yung negative 4 and then 6. Kaya lang, as you notice, negative 2 so, we have to indicate the sign of the negative. That will give us the final answer, x minus 4 times x plus 6. Okay, so I, have, I hope you learned from this video. No, you can replay the video eh, uh, 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 as many times as you want para mas ma-master ninyo. So, for the meantime, meron ako dito activity. So, you have to try this. Maybe you can pause the video for a while. Maybe around 10 minutes, I guess. Uh, a maximum of 10 minutes and then sagutan nyo muna to then afterwards i ka flash ko dito yung mga sagot natin okay go get your paper para mas maintindihan niyo okay so this is our answer for the paper i hope you learned something from our video for today thank you for watching and good day